The ghost dogs are based on a memory that haunted me for years of South Africa when a rare pack of wild dogs had been sighted in our area. We set off to find them, and at last we did, and I saw a kaleidoscope of fur and legs with high voltage energy. I learned that they are highly social animals and that they survive in a pack. I remember how they gathered to move on and still holding on to the moment we followed them as they disappeared into the mist. I build each piece as a structure based on the skeleton and a layer of fabric goes over them as the last part in the process. While I was considering this project, I found a tree that fell in the park where I hike and I remember looking at it and I saw shapes that resembled leg bones and I knew that that would be right for a dog sculpture. The bird series was inspired by themes in African folklore, especially those that portray the animal as teacher. As one of the smallest animals in the kingdom, they gain the advantage by strength in numbers and persist in ways that often surprise their larger adversaries. One of my favorite stories is one where a farmer killed a bird because it was destroying his crops. He took it home to his wife, she cooked it for dinner, and the next day his whole family transformed into birds. In the end, one bird became many. Christine and I discussed the theme of unlikely heroes as a way to show that even though the weaker members of society may appear to be helpless and unable to defend themselves, they really are, especially if they have strength in numbers. And the ghost dogs represent that in the sense that the pack survives because of the strength in numbers. So with birds, they do appear vulnerable and they are a small member of the animal kingdom, but in a large flock they can be extremely powerful and the folklore represents that idea.